Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about the flourishing Whimsy Drake, which is the brand new dragon riding mount of patch 10.2 Guardians of the Dream. And in this video we're going to look at all of the brand new customization options for this mount. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty interesting mount, definitely a bit controversial in regards to how it looks, but yeah, it's got some customization options and we're going to take a look at them. But before we take a look at them, just want to shout out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me stream World of Warcraft, Dragonflight, Dragonflight PTR, and more, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. Right, so yes, the flourishing Whimsy Drake. This is obviously like a fairy dragon uh, from the Emerald Dream because the patch is very much based in the Emerald Dream. Now, the good news here, at least this is how it is on PTR right now, is it looks like we're going to get this mount from day one. Obviously, with the winding Slither Drake back in 10.1, uh, we had to wait a couple weeks before we could get that mount, but it looks like in 10.2, it will literally come from the first quest when we go into the Emerald Dream. Now, the wording makes it sound like we are going to get this mount straight away, which is really good so it's not just some PTR placeholder stuff, but I guess we'll find out for certain when the patch launches on the Live Realms. Now, let's take a look at some of the customization options for the flourishing Whimsy Drake. Now, one thing to note is that it does not have as much customization as some of the other Drakes, like the Highland Drake and the Renew Proto Drake and things like that. Um, it is a little bit lackluster in that regard. I'm not sure if that's because they're not fully implemented on the PTR, uh, but yeah, we're gonna take a look at what is available as of right now on the PTR servers. So. Let's start with the back. So you have one back option, which is fins. So you can see there, it kind of adds the fin option on the top of the head and towards the back of the drake there. Um, do we call it a drake? Is it a drake? Is it a dragon? What is it? It's a fairy dragon. It's got feathers. I don't know. That is available from the Dream Renown, which is uh, going to be a lot of the options here. Uh, there is some world drops as well. Uh, for the neck, we have one option once again, which is fins. So you can kind of match that with the back fins and then have the front fins as well, which once again is from the new uh, Dream Warden's Renown, which you're going to get in 10.2. As for body armor, it's like all the body armor options are available from the start. Um, some of these are actually from some of the older Renowns. So obviously this character that I've got is maxed out on Renown, so it might be from some of those. Uh, but of course, if I've unlocked them it's not going to tell me where they're from so so we have the first option which is just bare so you can just have it uh, without anything at all on the back there if you want to go like that uh you got a saddle which is kind of your standard saddle actually the same saddle you see on all of the other drakes as well and then you have armor which i really like actually i think it really does add a lot to this mount uh, adding the kind of armor on the shins and on the legs and things like that and of course on the back making it a little bit better especially with this coloration uh which we'll talk about in a second uh, as for colors for this drake, there are a few options. There's four options. So by default, you'll have this bluey green option. Another option is this one. And uh, now it is not a infinite dragon skin. It is very similar to the infinite dragon skin, obviously using those kind of uh, purples and blacks and blues. This is just a color that they've called night, and that will be available from the Dream Renown. Uh, the next color is sunrise. This is from a world drop, presumably in the Emerald Dream. Very, very different to the other ones. I really like it. Now, what you'll notice here as I go through them is actually the eye color does change change with the skin color. So the eye color is not something you can choose on the PTR right now. It does look like it is attached to the skin color specifically. Uh, the final option is Sunset. So this is a kind of like purpley pink uh, and blue option, once again, from the Dream Renown. So two of the skin colors from the Dream Renown, one from a world drop, which we've yet to see drop on the PTR, but no doubt it will come from the Emerald Dream, I would imagine. Uh, so yeah, some really unique and interesting colors that really do change up the look of the Whimsy Drake. As for armor color, there are currently two options. So you have the silver and blue, which is the kind of default armor color, and the gold and pink, which is available from the Valdraken Renown. Uh, on the PTR right now, you can't purchase this, but it will be available uh, once the game goes live. Hopefully they add some other armor colors as well. It is a bit weird just to have two in there. Obviously all of the other drakes have different armor colors and whatnot. So hopefully we get a few more, uh, but yeah, kind of mixing and matching that with some of these skin colors is gonna look really cool. Now, one thing that's a little bit of a bug right now. So if you do body armor, and do saddle and do the golden pink it's gonna kind of turn a bit blue and gold it's gonna be like that dress meme is it golden pink or is it blue and gold so yeah a little bit of a weird issue there with the saddle uh, option but the armor color seems to work uh, absolutely fine uh, going into some of the customizations on the face now as it zooms in very very close uh, you have a few snout options here to change up the look of your drake so you have short you have underbite 
which is from the Dream Renown, and you have uh, Long, which just looks like they've kind of put it into Photoshop and just dragged the snout uh, really long. But yeah, you can see a little bit of difference there with the uh, kind of underbite there, making it look a little bit more like a dragon and less like a Pixar character. Um, and then the long one just being kind of uh, a bit mental. But yeah, you, there is a, once again from the Dream Warden's Renown uh, in 10.2. As for horns on the Whimsy Drake, there are two options. You have the feather option, which is the default option, uh, which kind of gives you these two feathers on the top of the head, or you can have the horns option, which removes the feathers and gives you these two little horns. Uh, a little bit lackluster in regards to horns. Hopefully we do see some more options coming in in a future PTR build, because just having the feather and the horn option seems a little bit lackluster, if I'm honest. Uh, as for head armor, we have the standard head armor that we've seen on all of the Drakes. This is the elite head armor. Uh, as of the PTR, it's a little bit bugged, but yes, this will come from from the Niffin Renown. So if you've already unlocked the head armor on your other drakes, this is something that will also unlock. Also, the coloration seems to be a little bit bugged right now, but again, that's gonna be something that will definitely fix itself once we get into the live game. And finally, yeah, finally, uh, Brow. We have Bear and we have Ridged, which gives them kind of a, a bit more of a kind of ridged brow, uh, you know, weirdly enough. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's that's it, right? That's all the options for the Whimsy Drake. I think obviously the big things here are the skin colors, uh, which really do change the look and feel of your Whimsy Drake. I would like to see some more options come in in the future, more armor colors and things like that. It would be really, really nice to see. Maybe some more horn options or options for the tail, for example. Tail doesn't look like it's going to have any customization options, but maybe something they could put on there. I don't know. But yeah, these are the options on the PTR as of right now for the Flourishing Whimsy Drake, which is your brand new Dragon Running Drake. Uh, it's worth noting the Grotto Nether. Drake will be getting some options as well in 10.2. I'm going to do a video about that very soon, so don't worry. But yeah, there's some cool options there. But for the Flourishing Whimsy Drake, that are the options we got. Let me know down below what you think of this brand new dragon riding mount. As I said, it's a little bit controversial. I don't really mind it. I think it's fine. It basically is the Highland Drake with like a different face. Uh, but yeah, it's all good fun. But yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please do leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me elsewhere, I'm also on Patreon and I'm on Twitter, Mr. GMYT, and I have a Discord channel as well. And as mentioned, I am streaming on twitch.tv slash Mr. GM. Uh, I've been playing a lot of the 10.2 PTR recently. It's been a lot of fun. So if you want to check me out, uh, streaming the 10.2 PTR, doing a little bit of retail stuff as well. I'm over on twitch.tv slash Mr. GM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.